two things happened. Um, a homeless person died outside our hospital about three or four years ago. And uh, he was a 43-year-old man. He was a father of three daughters. I've got three daughters. And uh, the uh, hospital asked me to take a closer look at it just to see if there was anything we could learn from that particular experience. And there had, no one had done anything wrong. Uh, but there was a sense of um, a sense of sadness that we couldn't have done more to help this person in uh, a very difficult time of their life, and the fact that they seemed to be very dispossessed um, and alone when they died. Um, and when when I looked into it, I found that um, actually the homeless patients in our hospital were a very different set, and attitudes from staff varied enormously. Some were hugely and quietly compassionate, and others didn't quite understand how best to advocate for those people who really didn't have a voice. They weren't the sort of people that could put in a complaint. But actually, they were the sort of people that kicked up in A&E, particularly when they sobered up, or if they were distressed by an interaction. And so they were very loud on our radar, uh, but not always seen as particularly deserving particularly in the context of difficult behavior. So that was something that became apparent in a way that I could never pick up from, from statistics and, um, and, and touched me in a particular way because we're a universal, comprehensive national health service. And we say that we look after the poor and most abandoned with particular concern. And I didn't see that happening.